All right, so this is the same uh, analog setup with 800 milliwatts, and we're flying in a parking garage. So we're testing basically multipathing here, and we're also going to fly up a level, test out the penetration. Mm -hmm. So we're going down here, and both are flyable. Analog's holding in there, starting to multipath a little bit. HD0 is pretty much holding a perfect image. This is all line of sight, so there's no penetration issues here until we go to the back. A good old parking garage test. <laughs> yeah, come out a little bit here. So you can see they both have a pretty good image. No more multipathing mm -hmm. uh, until we get behind the metal. I actually had kind of sync issues back here, so I didn't go as far with the rapid fire, but um, this is where things get interesting here. We're up a level now. Yeah, look at and those here, colors just all over the place. I put it slow motion, and I mean... I yeah. really was flying off of memory there on the yeah. analog. This is a Jesus take the wheel moment. Yeah. And this is slow motion. So if you put it, if it was running fast motion, that HD zero image is actually pretty flyable, I would say. Mm -hmm. But that analog gets at its limits at 800 milliwatts. And that is why I had to tell Carl, we're going to need a, a bit stronger guns here. Yeah. Analog needs some help. <laughs> and that's when we whipped out the TBS. <laughs> So we're flying down here, and um, you can fast forward a little bit on this part right here. Just bring it into this back section. Yep, right here. Yep. Yep. And you see the multipath thing. They both have pretty good penetration. It's mostly a multipathing issue with analog. Right. And this shows the advantages of HD zero, which is something I like to stress to people is that you're getting a huge advantage on multipathing. Yeah, you Huge are. Advantage. I mean, look, look, look at the colors on this charging station. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> holy cow! <laughs> and then you got like a sync loss there. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah the image is way more coherent. Right there, it's uh, kind of sync loss again. Oh yes. And here we go. Analog has a lot of multipathing. It's one thing to keep in mind. The one thing also to keep in mind is when I'm very close to uh, myself, the analog picture is going to get worse. And as I get further away, the analog picture will clear up again. This is because the um, digital transmission is overpowering the analog receiver at very close range. But as we get further out, it clears up. So I've tried to control for that. All right. So some night footage side by side this time. Um, here I'm running R1 and on uh, HD0 and R7 on analog, so they don't interfere with each other. Nice. There's a, a lot of sensor noise in analog. Um, I mean, I, I presume that's really just the sensor, but you you do have the issues that analog always has with kind of like showing you fake information um, when yeah. there's flashes and, and stuff. Um, you get like color warping and, and things like that. Like with HD0, if you have interference, it kind of just shows you missing blocks. Um, and I can see through that pretty easily compared to like this warping color shifting show that I got on analog. Yeah. And also an analog where it's already dark right now, you don't have that lot of color to play with to begin with. So it starts to drop color real quick and things start to get real dark looking at night. That's something mm -hmm. I noticed with night flying too. Yeah. And also like this camera is just incredible for, for yeah. night flying. Um, not that I fly a lot at night, but. This is actually a good example of good. what I'm saying here. The whole entire right side of the analog image, you can't see nothing. Yeah. You're basically flying that by memory. I am, yeah. Um, I did run into a few things, I'm going to be honest. Uh, when it <laughs> got into that corner, I had to redo it. Uh, it was really hard flying through that analog picture. Because when I was doing these tests, I actually was flying with analog um, and recording. And then I had the shark bite receiver recording, but I wasn't flying with Sharkbite. Okay. 
And again, you can just see all the color madness that's happening with analog. So, I mean, there's breakup in the one watt VTX. It's just a lot easier to deal with than analog in my opinion. And it is pretty comparable. Um, usually doing a little bit better. And just look at how clean the uh, digital feed is compared to the analog. And just to, to take a, a re-note, the analog is avoiding Wi-Fi right now on R7. And the HD0 is pretty much on Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. It's it's just crushing the Wi-Fi right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I do have pretty good Wi-Fi. I have uh, Unify access points, uh, similar, okay. to what, similar to what Bardwell has. All right. This is the last test here. This is going through a parking, uh, parking garage. We're going to go around all the way to the back. Going to be blocked by concrete. There's also metal uh, support beams going across the entire top. So it's a mix of concrete, some metal. It's a multi-path hell. This is the first corner here, completely blocked by this on-ramp yeah. to the left. And they both get pretty, eh. <laughs> the, the, it's pretty much just the analog struggling with the multi-pathing. Yep. So is this basically one level of, up now? This is, uh, no, this is actually the same level. We okay. just basically went around the entire on-ramp and it's just a giant bottom level. Okay. So we have multiple pillars of concrete. As you can see, these are metal pillars on the side. Those are not on the right. Those are not concrete pillars. They're actually uh, steel support beams. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to go up the on-ramp right here right now. So the antenna is behind the quad. We're going towards ourselves, but we're going on the um, up onto the next level. Yep, keeping it low, I see. Yep. Keeping it low, and you can see right here, I actually did not see that sign that I almost hit on the analog. Right, right, right. So the viewer can rewind that back to see what I was talking about. Yeah, no, I saw that. I was like, oh, that was kind of close. Yeah. yeah. So we're going around here, and yeah, it's... Okay. um. This one here. Here we go. No, it's actually at the very top. Let it play out and just look at the analog one. Yeah, I'm playing it in half speed. And right here, it's going to come. Oh, wow. You can't see it until you're <laughs> right on top of it. <laughs> you really could not see it. I, I was like, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go to the back now, and we have a ton of just concrete blocking the signal. We're going further back, further back. Go around here is where it gets tough. And right here where I'm coming back on the analog quad, I was pretty much squinting here to try to make out where I was. It was pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's time that uh, some Bando pilots invest in an HD0 system. One watt VTX coming soon. Yeah. So is this three levels up now? Oh, no, yeah, that's just... one level up. It's just a very, this is a very tall ceiling. OK, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Urban environment. Yeah, no, I see it. Oh, yeah. And this is actually in downtown area. So this is um, Wi-Fi hell. Yep. It looks a little bit wet, too, which is... Oh, yeah. It just rained. Good. It's it's actually misting outside and, and foggy. So yeah. uh, the humidity was about, like, 75% ah, in that range, 80% almost. And you can see the floor out here is all wet. Yeah. Look at the rainbows. I mean, so if you want if you want rainbows in your life, um, you could go with either system. Um, <laughs> it's just that <laughs> HG0 is only going to show you the rainbows when it completely loses signal. <laughs> uh, the analog might give you diabetes. <laughs> 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 Too much rainbow. Yeah. Uh, that's the test. And um, if anybody wants to see more tests, uh, comment below. Let me know if you're interested to see anything. Uh, this is 1 watt HD0 versus 1.5 watt TBS and rapid fire. This is the best of the best. Yeah, and, and we worked hard to get the analog as good as we could get it. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's another thing is the HD0 quad. I That same analog quad, I had to rebuild it about three times to just get the noise in the image down to an acceptable level. Yeah, analog that quad really was difficult. Free. That was previously an HD0 quad, and on HD0, it basically has no issues. Yeah, yeah. No, I've got the same. I've got the same problems with 
with uh, analog, it's very hard to get good, clean feed out of it. You have to work very hard yep. at it. Yeah. All right, so that's the test. All right, thanks, Anthony. And uh, we'll, we'll, I think you'll have these on your YouTube channel too. Yep, they'll be available as individual clips, so you guys can go back, watch them, and uh, just see for yourself what you like. Cool. Very All nice. right. And I'll, I'll have that in the description too. Just want to thank Carl and uh, the rest of the beta testers. It was a privilege being able to test this. Yeah. Yeah, how interesting it was. Oh, yeah. All right, thanks. All right, have a good one.